Sup, it's Sydney. Um, let's talk about why I'm an idiot. This time. When you go to college, or at least at my university, you're required to buy a campus meal plan because you have to live on campus for your first year and so therefore you need a meal plan, I don't know. There are three meal plan levels and they suggest that you take the second one. So obviously I followed campus's advice and I took the middle level meal plan for my first semester. Well, what I forgot about is that I eat like a child because I eat grilled cheese every day and that's only like 90 cents. So I did not spend that much money. All of that leftover money from last semester carried over to this semester. So I decided to drop to the lowest level. If you're not following me, let's do some math. I'm gonna use my calculator because as I said, I'm an idiot. As of this morning, I had $437 left on my meal plan. Stupid. College. There are 23 days left of me being on campus including today. <sighs> that would mean that I would have to spend $19 a day in order to use all of that money. Sydney, doesn't that money just carry over into the next semester like it did before? No. So my options are spend an average of $19 per day for the remaining 23 days or spend my current average of $5 per day and then just waste all that money. The objective of this video is to spend as much money as possible on my campus meal plan so that I lose less money. Yeah. Hi. Can I have eggs and two hash browns? Thank you. I asked for two and they gave me one and whatever this is. Uh, excuse me? We went back and got more and now they're normal. So I don't know what happened with this, but that was gross. Why? <laughs> Eggs, bacon, sausage. Oh my god, let's get a beat. Eggs, bacon, green, sausage. I'm just gonna eat those little things. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we should take this outside. <laughs> we don't waste food out here. No, you know. Why do you have to expose me? It's disrespectful, Amit. You gotta eat it now. <laughs> Wes has the best brunch, but we were disappointed today. They didn't have tater tots. The first round of hash browns that we had were <laughs> actually... Disgusting. Yeah, those yeah, were not yeah. good. The pancakes were hard. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like. They were literal they were frisbees. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> Taylor from the bed. Please help me because <laughs> both of them are addicted to TikTok, and this is my final warning cry. Please help. Ready? Just don't think I could do that. <laughs> do, do, do. I made a poll on my Finsta about what is better, hash browns or tater tots, and my boyfriend picked hash browns. You just have to break up with him now. He's not your boyfriend, no way. Bye, Robbie. <laughs> I took them to Starbucks to get Starbucks for free because I was going to pay for it, and the total was only $11, so this is not going well. I got the white chocolate mocha with whipped cream. I ordered a grande, but they gave me venti out of my reusable Starbucks cup. That was a really long pause. <laughs> we have some treetop organic 100% apple juice from Concentrate. Yeah. And we also have water. That was really expensive. Thank you, Taylor, yes, for spending all my money. money. <laughs> I got the same thing as Kelly, so she's unoriginal. The mother freaking <laughs> tea. Why? After breakfast, we waited like a couple hours, got coffee, fricked around or whatever, and then we went 
grocery shopping. <laughs> we ended up spending $79. The market prices at the university, they like mark up all of the items, which is super annoying, but that's like the only place where I could spend my dining dollars that I already purchased, so a little bit unfortunate. So we got caramel and two bags of apples because that's all we Caramel eat apples. here. I got chewy granola bars. Wavy, original, family size. Lays. <sighs> peanut butter filled pretzels because these are literal crack. I love peanut butter. Sydney lives off of white cheddar well. cheeses. <laughs> we decided that that wasn't going to be enough money still, and we're not really capable of eating that much. So we decided to buy some stuff to give to the local food bank. Yay! Laundry detergent, downy. Two boxes of Cheerios because they need gluten-free cereal. Pineapple chunks. Crisco. Shampoo and conditioner. The sauce. Yes. Progresso. Soup. This video is gonna be a mess. And that is a haul. Thank you for joining us. I was editing this video and I realized that I did a horrendous job of explaining the whole food bank situation and I actually think that it's really important, so I'm just gonna talk about that for a sec now. Basically what I did, and something that all of you can do if you wanna just help out in your community, is just look up a local food bank and then chances are there's gonna be a page on there that has their specific needs currently. It's most beneficial if you do follow their list because, you know, if they get an influx of a hundred boxes of pasta, they may not need that large of a supply, but maybe they do need salt or gluten-free cereal or whatever it is. Anyways, getting back to the vlog, I ate like 500 calories of white cheddar Cheez-Its immediately after we filmed that part of the haul. So, um, we decided to go to the gym and play badminton because I was not doing well. We're about to play badminton. We have a lot of energy for no reason. She's got it, folks. <laughs> yeah, I still got that. <laughs> what a rig. And Kelly, how are you feeling about your gameplay thus far? I think I'm doing pretty good, honestly. Like, <laughs> I was gonna say, I haven't played for a while, but it's like I never left the sport. <laughs> They got some milkshakes too. I don't know how much money do we think we've spent today. Honestly, not enough. Death by chocolate, bittersweet mint, literally just regular chocolate. Okay, Taylor. I'm a basic person. Person. <laughs> I just put my pint in the freezer and I didn't really eat that much of it because I figured I could just eat it a little bit throughout the next three weeks and by that I probably mean the next three days because I barely have any self-control when it comes to ice cream. I'm gonna shower and then I don't know what else we're gonna do but it's a mystery that we will find out together. First of all we got pizza for dinner um, not from Penn State. We like ordered it so that was kind of stupid, but it's okay. Final totals here. I started off the day with $437, which is quite honestly disgusting. And then I went to brunch and I was going to pay for everyone, but everyone forgot except for Kelly. So I only paid for Kelly and I, and that was $10. Then I bought everyone coffee and such from Starbucks, which our total was $11. We spent a whopping $79 at the grocery store slash market. And then we spent another 15 on pints of ice cream. And $322 is where we sat at the end of the day. We spent a lot of money on food in one day, like $115 on food is no joke, 
but at the same time, I still have a lot of money left, so I'm not really sure if this was successful or not, but that's what happened. <laughs> well, I feel like at this point in the semester, like, a lot of regular, like, people who actually use their meal planner at this point, too. Yeah, that was the whole video. You can follow me on Instagram if you feel like it, if you want to see more of me and all these other crackheads, because they're on it all the time. <laughs> we love you all so much. Ew, that was gross. That was literally disgusting. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>